church. Welcome to Wednesday Voices. We're going to start off with an activity uh, tonight. So I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper. I want you to write down one aspect of yourself that you love. Something like, I am playful. I am funny. I am curious. I am loved. I matter. I love my humor, something. The only rule is that it has to be something wonderful, something positive. Just write one down. The only rule is that it needs to be something wonderful about who you are. Something that reminds you that you matter and you're loved and you're important. While you're looking at the words that you just wrote, think about how often you remember that to be true. It's easy to forget, right? Because life gets loud and the world gets busy. The past six months, there have been times where I have not felt enough, that I felt alone, like I'm failing at different parts of life that I would consider I would have been, you know, really, really doing well at earlier in my life. So. Uh, I felt like I was struggling with things I used to be so good at. Things like connecting with friends, staying up to date at whose birthday is coming up. Um, I used to send these things called Meme Mondays every Monday, and I stopped doing that six months ago. Sometimes in the last six months, I have felt like I'm not enough because the pace has changed, time has changed, the labor of doing easy everyday tasks has changed the weight of the world is greater. It's easy for me to forget these things about myself. I felt like I had a, I had a good balance of work, life, friends. And I was balancing that like a champ. And then things changed. Those moments of being connected to those outside of my own house was cut off and was, or was moved to a screen, and that was really hard. These feelings during COVID time remind me of idolatry. You know, idolatry is this idea of chasing things uh, for the sake of like feeling safe or that it's desired. I get some enjoyment out of it. But I'm so hungry to be known as a, that person or hang out with those people um, or ha wear that outfit or be invited to that party um, that that is what measures my enoughness instead of my commitment to loving myself, my neighbor, and God. I'll admit that sometimes when I feel like I have my act together, I treat God like a backup plan or extra credit if I can't figure it out and make a way myself. And then something happens to remind me that I'm human and that's the call to be human. I don't need to be perfect and I don't need to chase perfection in order to be loved and enough. I can know all this stuff in my head, but practicing it in my body, in my daily life, is a whole different story. When we think about the most essential part of connecting with God, whether that be on Sundays or tonight or with friends and family or out on a walk or a hike, 
at its core, it's reminding us who we are and whose we are. Now, the most important thing is loving God and that that's when you feel enough and that we aren't alone and that we already are enough and whole through Jesus. Those other things are not going to make me whole. I already am whole. There are a lot of ways we can take good care of ourselves and reflect and remember our relationship with God and our inherent priceless value, but sometimes we can't remember all by ourselves. And that's when we need an external word. We need somebody who isn't living inside our body and our brain to tell us who we are and whose we are. But if we go back to those initial questions of where do you feel wonderful or enough or loved, I believe that that is connected to the things that remind us that we're children of God that those are the places and people and things that remind us that God is actually present and God shows up in our lives. Part of the reason that external voice is so powerful is it's not just coming from another person in your life. God has the power to speak to us through one another, to call us into relationship and give us a word that we cannot give ourselves. God loves the ways that we show up in community for the sake of each other, for the sake of being known and growing together. And so when you have someone in your life who is telling you the truth about who you are, hear God's voice in that too, that gentle reminder from your maker.